Hello there and welcome back to Bullets for Bucks. Hope you're enjoying the channel thus far. I'm Stephen Bresna and today we're going to be going over how to choose a scope ring or scope rings. So we're going to take a look at some rings that I have in the shop and some things I've learned along the way. Now there are several different types of scope rings. Some are where the scope ring such as this is a tally scope ring where this ring is built into the base and it's one piece. Some rings are built into cantilever mounts or one-piece bases. And some rings stand alone and mount to a base such as a Picatinny rail or a weaver style base. There are also rings that mount into a Picatinny rail or scope base and then sandwich together this way instead of your typical where they sandwich together this way on top of the scope, some come together this way where they lock into the scope base and into the scope sideways or vertically. So first I recommend not getting scope bases and uh, below uh, $15, $20 because usually the components and the metal is extremely cheap and the screws and the screw heads will strip out. I recommend getting scope rings that use a bolt at the base to attach to a rail or scope rings that use all Torx head screws, not Phillips or flathead because those tend to strip out. So, I also recommend not getting rings such as this, where they are a narrow diameter and don't have a true recoil lug area built into the actual screw that goes through the base. They're just not very high quality and they just don't work that well. So, if your primary goal is to have a very extremely light rifle, I would go with the ring that's built into the base, such as, it, such as a tally ring. In the description below, I'll leave links to bases and scope rings that I recommend so that you can find them easier. So here, we have a nice heavy duty uh, scope ring, and I've had really good luck with these, and I'll leave a description below. And as you can see here, it comes with that Torx head uh, screw and it's made of very high quality materials and this piece of metal that clamps into the base is pretty thick. If you look on some cheaper rings such as this, these they sell at like places like Walmart where it's super 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 thin, do not buy these. This piece will deform over time and your scope will get loose. Also you'll see that it's a flat head screw right here and that's just terrible those strip out and they do not do not work well so when choosing rings for an ar-15 i do recommend getting a cantilever one piece mount such as this when going ultra light i recommend getting the one piece i recommend getting the one piece tally rings and when going for something long range you can get rings such as this where you're just putting it on a 20 moa uh, scope base and then you're mounting the ring on top and it works very well and it holds it very secure or something like a spur mount that's all one piece and that is very bomb proof. I always recommend rings that close down on the scope at either from uh, that close down on the scope and sandwich it, sandwich it this way or maybe on an angle this way. I do not recommend rings that close completely vertical. These rings are a nightmare to put on a rifle and use. They are horrible. They are difficult. Yes, once they're on, do they work extremely well? Yes. This is, these are actually more expensive than most rings I use. But keep in mind, that not only are they much harder to use because you're fighting keeping the scope in there and getting it all together at once and getting everything level, but when you go to take that, like say you want to take this scope and put it on a different rifle, see I've left the rings on here, all right? So I can just put this on another scope on the Picatinny rail, on the scope base, and put it where I need it and done. It's still on the scope. I can't do that because to take the scope off of a rifle, I have to undo it off the base and everything has to come off for me to remove that scope from the base. I have to remount everything, re-level everything every single time. I do not have to do that 
with the other style ring, which is why I do not recommend these vertically clamping scope bases. Now, some rings um, are quick detach if they come with the base built in. And if you're wanting to uh, have a weapon system such as the AR-15, where you're switching scopes a lot, or you wanna be able to take it off in a hurry, uh, the QD mounts are cool. So the takeaway from this video, don't buy scope rings under like 20 bucks. Do your research, make sure you get one with Torx head screws that's high quality metal, and that's heavy duty made. Make sure you use blue Loctite on the base screws if you're using a one piece ring to the base. Make sure that you follow proper torque specs for your rifle scope and for those bases, okay? And make sure that you're, and, and I recommend getting scope rings that clamp horizontally or at an angle, not vertically, because that way you can transfer them later on without removing everything and having to re-level your scope, and it's just plain easier. I'm going to be doing a video on some just a really basic method in mounting a scope on a rifle, the easy, simple, fast way for those without a lot of tools and a lot of experience very shortly. So stay tuned for that video in the days to come, and we're going to go more over torque specs, okay, and what torque to mount your base onto your rifle and mount the rings onto the base and how to do that in detail. So stay tuned. If you have any tips or comments you want to make, or things that you feel you should say, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing back from you.